In this video, I am going to be painting um, some of the Shadow Stalker's hounds that I printed out recently from One Page Rules. Um, these are the first prints that I have made that came out extremely clean, uh, with very few layer lines, so uh, I'm really excited to paint them and uh, get them on the table. I'm going to be using a very basic paint skin scheme with dry brushing matte light and then using the purple alchemy speed paint from army painter uh, for the majority of the model and then using mummy robes for uh, the wraps on their tails and around their waist and on their heads uh, a gray gravelord gray for their mouth and tongue um, pallid bone for one of the swarm uh, fang swarm creatures that one of these hounds has on his shoulder, uh, and then some moldy clothes and snake scales to highlight some of the boils and pustules on their uh, on their body. So very basic, uh, just something straightforward. I wanted to get on these models so I can get them on the table.
recently I've been getting these shadow stalkers uh, sliced and printed um, and slowly painted so that I can uh, get them on the table for uh, playing Age of Fantasy Quest. Um, I have a rough idea of a campaign that I wanted to run um, just for myself. Uh, there's not like a huge gaming group in my area unfortunately so I've been setting up small narrative campaigns and games that I can use with my models because I do like printing them from my printer and then painting them up um, and playing the game as well so you know when times are tough you do what you can uh, to engage with your hobbies so uh, yeah and the shadow stalkers are going to be the main um, quote unquote villain force uh, in that campaign so uh, I've got some Scourge Spearmen printed and um, Great Shriekers painted and everything. So I'm going to be adding, um, in addition to the Hounds, I've got um, some of their Butchers and Tormentors and Spectres printed out. And the Butcher Champion, I think, is going to be uh, the main evil, or the main general in the Shadow Stalker's Force that's going to be kind of the penultimate uh, fight uh, for my team of heroes. Thank you. 
So since my last video, I've been working a lot more uh, on my 3D printer to get the right materials and the right settings. Um, I did have a matte PLA, uh, which these were actually printed in, um, that printed fine for a bit, um, but then just clogged my nozzle just about every print for one reason or another. Um, and I think I need to upgrade a lot of my hot end pieces. Uh, to make that work better, uh, but for now I, I moved on from that material because it was very oozy. It was giving the models a lot of blob and like really heavy layer lines as well as some failed sections of the print. So this material I've been using now and that's what I printed their bases off of is um, Sunlu Meta PLA and that's been resulting in some very very clean models. So I've actually been experimenting with setting up and printing out a 10 millimeter scale, which a lot of them actually turn out really, really well. Um, so I'm excited to get a full army printed out and actually have um, some Saurians and Vampiric Undead uh, set up to print, and I've printed a few in 10 millimeter scale. Um, considering it's an FDM and considering the size, they come out actually pretty detailed and nice. Um, so I'm excited to get them printed out and on the board, um, and they're going to be uh, regiments, so the rank and flank, Age of Fantasy.
So for the bases, I have been trying to get my models based as I'm done printing so I don't have to come back a second time. Uh, and this works pretty well for the most part. I found that coffee grounds make a nice earth texture um, when I don't want anything to be too manufactured. Like if you want paved, a more paved or well-traveled road, um, I still use um, just simple plaster. Plaster, water, glue, and some paint mixed in. Um, has a really nice consistency and dries really well. Um, but for a more rough terrain, coffee grounds works really well. And um, so I did some coffee grounds because I'm going back over it with um, ashes later. Uh, all my shadow stalkers right now, I'm putting ash. Uh, on their base and it is it's ash from just my burn pile um, so just wood ash uh, and it I mean it looks really cool so what I'm doing here is coffee grounds first then some isopropyl alcohol to break kind of the surface tension on coffee before going over with watered down white glue to kind of seal the whole thing um, tried to just do white glue before or watered down white glue before and um, the coffee grounds kind of resisted uh, absorbing that and distributing it well, so isopropyl alcohol helps a lot with that. Um, and then I'm going to go over with some more of the Mod Podge and the spaces that I intentionally missed with the coffee, and uh, gluing down pieces of this charcoal as well as just covering the whole thing with ash. And then going back over it again with watered down white glue to really seal everything else in. Clean up, uh, skipped ahead, uh, added a couple tufts of grass here and there. Um, it's the really small ones so it's not too lush because I don't want this to look like a very lush landscape they're running across. Um, and then after everything else, uh, cleaned up all the sides and painted them matte black. Um, sending in this in to a painting contest my di uh, discord server I'm part of is running so I think they turned out really good especially for something so simple um, yeah, I really like how the purple alchemy did uh, with the dry brush underneath and yeah thank you everybody for watching <laughs>